both FMGCs exchange data through a cross-talk bus and are synchronized. When both FMGCs cross-talk, they are in dual mode of operation. The FMGC which drives the synchronization is called master. The master FMGC is automatically determined by the engagement status of the autopilot flight director. If autopilot 1 is on, FMGC 1 is master. If autopilot 2 is on, FMGC 2 is master. If autopilot 1 plus 2 and or flight director 1 plus 2 are on, FMGC 1 is master. Here, FMGC 1 is the master as autopilot 1 is on. The auto thrust is driven by the master FMGC. Note, when flight director 1 plus 2 are on, each FMGC drives its flight director and FMA on its on-side PFD. If the crosshawk is lost between both FMGCs, each FMGC operates independently. This mode of operation is called independent mode. The crew is advised by a message on the scratch pad, independent operation. Notice the amber and light on each MCDU, which indicates that the on-side FM has detected an independent mode of operation. In independent mode, each FMGC drives its own FG, Autopilot Flight Director, its own EFIS, PFD, ND, and its own MCDU. The crew must make the same entries on each MCDU in order to have the same guidance orders for both Autopilot FDs and the same information displayed on EFIS and on MCDU. When the crosstalk is recovered, the FMGCs revert automatically to dual mode. Let us review the failure of one FMGC. FMGC1, for example. Let's assume we are in flight and no previous faults have occurred. If autopilot 1 and auto thrust were engaged, auto flat autopilot off and auto thrust off are triggered on a cane. Autopilot 1 and auto thrust go off. Note. You can re-engage the autopilot on the healthy side, in our case autopilot 2. If a taw thrust has disengaged, it can be re-engaged at the same time. Notice the amber FM1 light on the MCDU, which indicates that the on-side FM has failed. MCDU1 is now a copy of the other MCDU with the scratch pad message OPP FMGC in process. This mode of operation is called single mode. Both FMAs display two flight director 2 
indicating that flight director bars on both PFDs are driven by FMGC2. Additionally, only FMGC2 position is computed and FMGC2 tunes the offside nav aids. As a consequence of single mode, ND1 displays say offside RNG mode and map not avail messages as long as ND1 range and mode are not set identically to those of ND2. Here, the captain's ND has to be set to the same range as the first officer's ND in order to be able to display navigation map. In case you cannot insert any data into the scratch pad, nor change any MCDU page, the MCDU is locked. Such a failure is not automatically detected. To recover the faulty MCDU, simply turn it off and after 5 seconds, back to on. The same procedure would apply in case of an MCDU failure indicated by the amber annunciator fail on the MCDU itself. You can try to recover the faulty MCDU, turn it off and after 5 seconds back to on. If it gives no result, turn it off again.